Welcome back to another video. The video that you guys are seeing right now is being recorded real time with my iPhone 4S 1080p. This is a phone from 2011, so not the greatest video quality you've ever seen on YouTube. So I kind of got this idea because I made a similar video a couple years ago. I think it was called something like this video was shot on the iPhone 4S and it was literally a video that I shot on this iPhone 4S back in my old studio when I used to live in Canada. So I kind of got inspired by that because I wanted to make kind of like another video. But uh, yeah, this is a fun little idea that I had and I just wanted to film a bunch of random stuff both inside and outside as well. So we'll take this phone out in a little bit. Um, I did want to give a couple of disclaimers though. So the audio that you guys are hearing is coming from this microphone. It is not coming from the iPhone 4S because it is pretty far away from like where I'm recording. So you guys probably wouldn't be able to hear me that well anyways. And also there's like professional lighting set up around me, but none of these scenes that you guys are seeing right now have been color corrected in Final Cut Pro. So what you're seeing right now is pretty much what the phone is picking up in real time. So I'm gonna try to keep the editing very minimal on this video and just show you guys like that raw footage that this phone used to record back in the day with of course the exception of the lighting. But anyways, I do actually have an iPhone 4S right over here. This is kind of going to be like my stunt double because I kind of need to show the phone that I'm recording with, if that makes sense. But yeah, take a look at this, guys. I took a photo with my iPhone 14 Pro and the iPhone 4S, and you guys can just see side by side. They actually look pretty similar. If you really look into the detail, you'll soon realize like which phone is which. It's pretty obvious. But the cool thing here is that with the iPhone 4S, it actually had a pretty like narrow focal length. So it looks a little bit more zoomed in. Whereas with the iPhone 14 Pro, it's a little bit more zoomed out and that's simply because of the lens. It's also a much bigger lens as well. When you put them side by side, you can see how small the camera the little cutout on here really is with the 4S. And yeah, those cameras have gotten so much bigger. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. And I did end up getting a little bit of random B-roll inside of my office as well. Uh, the video does look very laggy as you guys can see and not the greatest quality. Uh, but I do appreciate the fact that this phone does have autofocus, which was definitely a major selling point of this device and the fact that it recorded in 1080p and had an 8 megapixel camera is actually pretty cool to see. So this thing is definitely a very special device not just because of its camera but like the iPhone 4S in general was you know technically like one of Steve Jobs' last iPhones. So this was definitely a very special iPhone and if you guys are an Apple collector definitely need to recommend picking one of these up. Now I did end up taking this phone out for a little bit as well just to get a little bit of natural lighting and you guys can see it does not look terrible. Like I think this phone did a pretty good job picking up you know just like certain lights. The exposure doesn't look crazy bad and I even took a couple photos here and there as well with my iPhone 14 Pro so you guys can see side by side just how they turned out and of course I got some video examples here as well but honestly like it is not a terrible device this thing is almost 13 years old too so kind of crazy to see how far the camera has come on the iPhone and yeah it just kind of blows my mind um, one thing I did want to mention though that I think is kind of cool is that with software camera features can get better obviously like you can't change the hardware that is inside the iPhone, but you know, as the iPhone 4S got updates over time, there were new features that the camera had. I think one of them was like time lapse, for example. Um, but this recording that you're seeing is on iOS 5. So this software version does not really have any of those features. This is the software that was intended to ship with the iPhone 4S when it first came out in 2011. So this camera is optimized to work with 2011 software. I hope that makes sense. So it doesn't have any like crazy filters or any extra settings. Like this is what you got outside of the box when you first got your iPhone 4S. And I did want to say shout out to one of my Twitter followers. He's the one who actually sent over this device that's currently recording this video. Um, honestly, dude, shout out to you, man. Like he's, he's super down to earth. He's helped me out a lot with my channel and um, you guys can go support him. I'll have his links down below. But uh, yeah, thank you for making that possible. Overall, it's not a terrible camera. I think Apple did a pretty good job back in 2011, and it makes me excited to see what kind of camera we can expect with upcoming iPhones. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this nice, short little video. Just wanted to make something fun for you guys. I am currently working on a longer video that's gonna be coming out hopefully in about a week or two from now. I do need to borrow an iPhone from one of my friends. Um, so he has a certain iPhone model. I don't wanna give away the model just yet because it might give away the video idea. But yeah, I'm working on that right now. It's going to take a couple weeks, but you guys will like it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, learned something new. Comment down below if you guys want to. I'll catch you guys up next.